back pass. Look at the behind the back pass. Oh, goodness. Soaring through the air. I'm sorry, but he's having his own personal dunking contest right now, folks, and we got to get him a 10. What do you think? 10 for number 10. <laughs> This is Down to the Wire 513 where Passion Me Sports Talk. Tap in. Team USA finishes up Group C group play with a sweep, finishing up 3 0 with victories over New Zealand, Greece, and Jordan. Huge margin of victory for all these games. They beat New Zealand 99 72. They beat Greece 109 81. And they beat Jordan this morning 110 62. Let's take a look at the highlights. Beautiful pass. Is it on Hollis Jefferson or Al Dwyer? If it's Al Dwyer, it's his second. Well, Ibrahim turns it over at midcourt. And Edwards! The so, dunk! Again, that's tremendous. But if you're the coaching staff, you want to play to your potential in transition. They can attack so much harder and sharper the last two games. Oh my goodness, what a move for Ant-Man. It's when you take Edwards off the court for the USA, as well as Bridges, especially, and you can even throw Hart in there. Well, you throw, you take those guys, those starters off as Hollis Jefferson goes in and puts it in. You can look at his numbers there, 12 points, and now Banquero for the throwdown. And now the second half is about the life experience here at the World Cup for these. Jadawi has checked into the game for the first time. Hart over to Bridges. And Bridges knocks down the three. Get a little bit of hand on the ball, but good call from the officials, though, considering the situation. Oh. And that was a telegraph pass. Look at the behind the back pass. Oh, goodness. Soaring through the air. I'm sorry, but. He's having his own personal dunking contest right now, folks, and we got to get him a 10. What do you think? 10 for number 10. <laughs> nice. Stop! Uh, Kessler goes up and throws it down. Boy, his ceiling is pretty high, isn't it? What he's going to do. Portis. And the follow from Reed. Kind of gets blocked, and you can see it's Halliburton just hitting the ball to Portis and the USA going up, giving the crowd a thrill. So you saw that points tracker, and here is let's see what was that was when you were coaching Ulm or Humber. Rasha Farmer. Oh, and there is El Dwyer going in for the dunk. Alsus goes over and shakes the hand of Steve Kerr. Shout out to Jordan though. Shout out to uh, Rondé Hollis Jefferson. Really brought back the Kobe vibes. And shout out to the crowd in the Philippines. The crowd has been electric for all of these games for the U.S. I've been watching a couple other games too as well. Um, the crowd has been electric for all the games. Uh, shout out to the Philippines. Other teams that have been impressive in this World Cup has also been Canada. They have a lot of NBA talent on their team. A lot of NBA guards with SGA, uh, Dylan Brooks, Lou Dort. So shout out to the Canada national team as well. It's going to be a big challenge for us if we had to meet up against them. Also, shout out to the Dominican Republic with Cat. He's out there dominating, and we may see them as well later on in the tournament. Also, shout out to the Bohemian national team. Uh, they have DeAndre Ayton playing, Buddy Hield, and also Eric Gordon. And they have been killing it so far. So shout out to them as well. Big upset so far. France being eliminated from meddling here in this tournament. Uh, even though they have an automatic bid to the Olympics, this definitely was a, a terrible showing for the France national team. Rudy Gobert only put up one shot in their last game in the uh, fourth quarter or the second half of their last game. Terrible showing for France. Uh, they better hope they get Wimby to play in the Olympics. Let me know in the comment section, guys, who you've been impressed with so far in this World Cup. Who do you want to get gold medal, silver medal, or bronze?